Tonight's review, we're going to be taking a look at the new Borealis Sea Dragon watch. Uh, Borealis is a, a small uh, independent uh, dive watch company. Um, sea Dragon is one of their newer designs that they released on a pre-order basis. Um, I placed my order during the pre-order period and uh, just received it last week. So uh, this is what comes with the watch. Uh, the watch comes in this kind of reptile textured green box you can see the uh, borealis uh, is printed on the top of the box and kind of a silver foil also included uh, with the watch is a extra strap uh, brown leather with uh, kind of a beige contrast stitching and a borealis uh, logo on the buckle um, taking a look at the watch inside the box, first uh, you get a warranty uh, card and instruction manual. And then the watch is sitting on a, a leatherette pillow on the inside. Uh, you'll notice the watch is a uh, obviously a diver style watch. The case measurement is uh, 44 millimeters in diameter and uh, about 14 and a half millimeters in thickness. Uh, this is what they call a shrouded style diver, meaning that uh, the bezel is protected by kind of an outer uh, ring, which is actually a separate piece that is uh, screwed into the case uh, with these Allen head screws. Um, you can see them right here. And um, it's a 120 click rotating a unidirectional diver style bezel. It's a PVD coated and uh, has BGW9 loom um, on the indices. The crystal is a uh, sapphire. It's flat with an inner anti-reflective coating. Uh, the watch is produced in four different color combinations. I happen to have the uh, gray uh, dial version, but they also make um, kind of a, a white dial version, a black dial version, and an orange dial version, I believe. The strap width at the lug is uh, 22 millimeters. The overall water resistance on the watch is uh, rated for 300 meters. Uh, the movement that's contained inside is the Mi Miota 9015 automatic movement. Uh, the Miota 9015 is a 28,800 uh, vibrations per hour uh, movement. Um, it's Japanese and uh, has a 42 hour power reserve. It's a 24 joule automatic movement. So let's open up the strap and take a look at the case back. Uh, the strap that it comes on is kind of an isoframe style strap. It's not an actual isoframe strap, but um, kind of has that look. Opening up the buckle again, this is a, a Borealis signed buckle. Um, looking at the case back, I'm sorry, I still have the, uh, the sticker on there. Uh, but you see kind of a mermaid um, design on the medallion style case back. And it says uh, Miota 9015 movement, 300 meters water resistance, and then Borealis Watch Company. The crown um, has a B for Borealis etched into it. It's a screw down style crown. It's got nice uh, kind of a knurled pattern on the outer edge. Uh, the dial is... Uh, extremely easy to read. Um, you can see that the hands are actually quite large. Um, the hour hand has a kind of dual uh, stick marker style loom and then the uh, minute hand is a bright orange with uh, a wide patch of loom on it as well. Uh, there is a small date window at the four o'clock position which is uh, white numerals on a black background. The hour markers on the dial are all um, printed on and uh, have the same uh, 
loom as well. You can see that the lugs are curved slightly and then they, they have a beveled kind of polished edge which is a nice touch. The, bezel, or the um, lugs are drilled through as well uh, to make it easier for a removal of the pins for strap changes. So let's uh, put it on the wrist and uh, see how it looks. So here's a wrist shot of the watch uh, on my seven and three quarter inch wrist. Uh, you can see it actually uh, sits very well. Uh, the strap is quite comfortable, it's quite pliable. The strap thickness near the case is about four millimeters it looks like. And then towards the end, it tapers down to about, uh, looks like three millimeters. The leather strap, on the other hand, let's see, is uh, about uh, three millimeters in thickness. So next I'm going to put it on my timing machine and uh, we'll see how well uh, the movement has been regulated. Okay, so here's the watch on the time grapher. Uh, I have it fully wound. Again, the uh, 9015 is a hand windable uh, hacking style movement. Uh, you can see that um, seems to be running pretty well uh, between four and six seconds uh, fast per day um, with only a 0.3 millisecond uh, beat error. Uh, the amplitude seems to be in the um, mid 200s as well. So uh, pretty good performance uh, from this Miyota 9015. All right, so here's the watch on the uh, included uh, brown leather strap. Uh, you can see that it kind of uh, gives it a different look. Um, I actually think this uh, strap is pretty nice, um, but it does uh, show scratches rather easily. You can see it kind of scuffed up when I was uh, putting it on. Um, I think it is meant to look uh, somewhat uh, worn or vintage. Uh, you can see if, if you bend it, uh, you can start seeing uh, that it lightens in color and uh, shows some, some of the leather texture uh, or cracks. So this is uh, the watch on the leather strap that comes with it. Uh, next I'm going to put a couple aftermarket straps on and, and show you how you can um, change up the look even more. Alright, so here I put the watch on a uh, black, gray, and orange uh, NATO style strap. I thought that this would uh, kind of bring in some of the colors from the dial and the case into the strap. Um, so, you know, obviously this is uh, quite a different look. It actually works quite well on the NATO uh, because of the, the way the lugs are designed. Um, fits quite well. And the case isn't overly thick, so uh, it doesn't feel uh, that top heavy uh, on the NATO strap, which is obviously thinner than, than the stock straps that it comes with. All right, so here's the watch on a uh, gray isoframe style strap. Um, you can see this is a, a similar uh, strap design to the, uh, the one that it comes with, um, except that the, the cutouts are a little bit larger. I'm gonna have a separate review on these uh, straps um, shortly, but I just wanted to give you a look on um, how, it, how it is on this gray strap. I think the gray, you know, uh, works well with the gray dial here. Overall, I think the Borealis Sea Dragon represents an excellent value in the independent dive watch category. From the 44 millimeter case diameter to the uh, shrouded style bezel design and the Miyota 9015 automatic movement, uh, you do get a lot of bang for your buck in this watch. I like the, the dial design, uh, the way the hour markers are done and how it uh, works very well with the, the hands that they've chosen. Uh, the Miyota 9015 automatic movement in this watch uh, seems to be running quite nicely and uh, based on other watches I've owned with the Miyota 9015, I think it'll be a, a workhorse movement that uh, should run uh, very accurately for uh, many years. Um, so overall, if you have any questions on this watch, uh, please feel free to post them below. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos in the future. And uh, for more discussion about this watch, uh, please check us out on watchintime.com. Uh, Borealis actually just joined as uh, one of the um, members on our uh, forum, so uh, you can ask questions to them directly as well. All right, thanks for watching. There you